Hi and welcome to S Class Gaming. In this video I will show you how to beat Mutated Jack on Madhouse difficulty. I'll be going over what your inventory should look like, the strategy for the first stage of the fight, and the strategy for the second stage of the fight. Let's begin. First off, this is what your inventory should look like. Your health should be at 100% with at least two first aid meds. Hopefully you've been saving your game on multiple slots because you might have to backtrack a little to make sure your health and healing items are in good standings for this fight particularly at the point when you leave the building with the birthday candle puzzle. At this part, you will encounter quite a few enemies on your way to the safe house where Mutated Jack is, and as you make your way, you want to get past all those enemies with pretty much taking no damage. And the reason for this is, when you arrive at the safe house where Mutated Jack is, two guaranteed herbs will be waiting for you, and you want to save them for the Jack fight instead of healing yourself with them. And don't forget to combine them with chem fluid, turning them into first aid meds. If you need to, use the separating agent to separate chem fluid from other items such as spare burner fuel or handgun ammo so that you can combine your herbs to make first aid meds. Okay, moving on. Weapons. The weapons needed to defeat Jack can vary depending on what you've unlocked and what ammo you have in stock. So, generally speaking, you should have one of the pistols with 90 handgun rounds and 10 enhanced handgun rounds, one of the shotguns with 6 shotgun shells, the burner with 150 burner fuel, and a knife. You can bring your grenade launcher if you like, but I prefer to convert my grenades into strong chem fluid to create more enhanced handgun rounds. But ultimately, it's up to you. If you have more ammo than the amount that I just mentioned, bring it. Bring as much ammo as you can hold. Completely fill your inventory if you have it. On the other hand, if you're running short on ammo, keep in mind you can use the separating agent to extract chem fluid from certain items and combine it with gunpowder to give you handgun ammo. Also, there is some ammo in the corners where the fight takes place if you need it. Okay, moving on. A couple additional items you should have in your inventory are any coins you've unlocked in the main house that increase your stats. Also, you absolutely must have the secrets of defense in your inventory, which reduces damage while blocking. This is so important because during the second stage of the fight, you will have to block some unavoidable attacks by Jack and not having the secrets of defense in your inventory makes this part almost impossible to get through. On the other hand, having it in your inventory makes this part a piece of cake. Okay, now to explain the strategy for the first stage of the fight. Before the fight begins, make sure you are at full health. All your weapons are fully loaded and your weapons are configured in such a way where you can swap to any one of them pretty much on instinct. Also, you want to block every single attack by Jack to keep your health up. One more thing to keep in mind, and this is important, by the end of the first stage of the fight, you want to be at full health, your pistol fully loaded with enhanced handgun ammo, and your shotgun fully loaded too. So, save a first aid med to heal yourself at that time, and some enhanced handgun ammo and shotgun shells to reload your weapons, and have your shotgun in hand. Alright, with all that in mind, at the start of the fight, make your way to the bottom floor, blocking on your way if necessary. Once you're on the bottom floor, Jack will follow, and when he does, stay hugged up against the side of his body. When you position yourself in this way, Jack will continuously try to turn around to find you, which prevents him from attacking you. And as he turns, move with him, staying hugged up against his side. As you do this, attack the eyes on his body, switching between the burner weapon and pistol using normal handgun ammo. First, use the burner to light some of the eyes on fire. You don't need to spam this weapon. Just use it enough to ignite the eyes. Doing so, the eyes will take damage over time. Meanwhile, take your pistol and fire at the eyes. Repeat this process, switching between the burner and pistol until all eyes are destroyed. In the case that Jack moves to the top floor, stay on the bottom floor and place yourself under his tail, moving when he does. Again, Jack will continuously try to turn around to find you, preventing himself from attacking you, at which point attack the eyes until destruction. Once one eye is all that is left, that would be a good time to prep for the second stage of the fight. So, heal yourself. Reload your weapons, making sure your pistol is loaded with enhanced handgun ammo, and take your shotgun out. Once you destroy the final eye, the second stage will begin, at which point Jack will submerge and drag you underwater. Seconds later, both of you will emerge and Jack will be mounted on top of you, pounding you in the face every few seconds. There is no time to heal at this point, which is why it is important that you block every swing, so anticipate them and be ready to put your guard up. In between swings, what you want to do is fire your weapons at his eye on his face. Start off by firing your shotgun. Once the ammo is depleted, do not reload. Instead, swap to your pistol with enhanced handgun ammo and fire away, reloading if necessary. Do this until Jack is dead, which should take about two shotgun shots and six enhanced handgun shots if you're using the M21 shotgun and the M19 handgun. 
I hope this guide serves you well, and don't forget to tell Zoe that Jack says to get her ass back to the house. This is Danny from S Class Gaming. Take care. Get your ass. Get your ass.